Hello, good morning. Welcome back to Life Mill Wife and happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday. It is. And it is a happy day in Canada because <laughs> Tim Hortons has brought back a classic donut. <laughs> yeah, the walnut crunch. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, that's too funny. Oh, they had a cherry one and a walnut crunch crunch one and they were so good back in the day and they've brought them back yum yum <laughs> however back in the day tim hortons was made from scratch that's true today they are a frozen dough thrown in the oven baked and then glazed or icing whichever the said donut is so anyways it is a warm one today holy hannah well it only says 20 degrees but it's very humid well that's just because you were parked in the shade still it's gonna get warm mm. i will i think it's supposed to get to 27 which is quite warm yeah i think it's in the 80s I'll look later and show you. <laughs> and we've got Mr. Brode. Brody. Brody. Say hi, friends. Brody has a haircut appointment. And next time you'll we'll be so glad, poor oh. little guy. Next time you see him, you're going to wonder where the other dog went. That's true. Because <laughs> he's getting his summer cut. <laughs> oh. Anyways, but Kevin had a doctor's appointment this morning, so I couldn't have the car. So I told Dorothy, "You get your butt out of bed, girl." Oh, <laughs> and that's cruel because I need assistance getting dressed in the morning, and so I have to get up early, and Len has to get up early, and. We get to do it all again tomorrow because I have a special meeting at church and um, my lady won't be here on time. So two days in a row, seeing quarter to 6 a.m. Oh, I'm not used to it. And the thing is, it's roles reversed because for years it, it was you saying to me, you can't get up that early. <laughs> yeah. You mean you don't want me to pick you up till 10, not 9? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You used to do that all the time to me. Yep. <laughs> well, I used to get up with him at six. And <laughs> I haven't done that for a long time, and I don't make a habit of it anymore because I find it, it just makes the day too long. Well, I thought you were crazy. Because I'm sorry, I love my husband. But I ain't getting up at six o'clock in the morning for him. <laughs> you know, I miss it. Do I would it? like oh. to do it again, but I just don't have the stamina. Oh, no. Like, because it was our own private time. Yeah. Like, if if Kevin and I both have to get up early for a reason or other, I have no problem getting up. But just to get up and then to have my whole day going, what do I do with my day? No. I want to sleep till 8 or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't, I don't like sleeping, like, half the day away or anything. Mm -hmm. Like like you said, you guys love to sleep in Saturday mornings now. Oh, yeah. No, I'm up between 8 and 9 every Saturday morning. That's awesome. Like, well, that's the one day Len feels he can sleep in. Yeah. And he loves to sleep in. But it's weird because it messes you up. Oh, it does. Yeah. Like, it does. It would be better for him just to keep his normal schedule and yeah. just carry on. Yeah. And I would get up with him, and we'd get things done before it got too hot outside. But. but, but, having said that, I will allow you guys to sleep in, because that means we can party every Saturday night. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so Dorothy and I are going to drop Brody off. Then we're going to get go our... play. Yes, we're going to get some retail therapy going. You betcha. And then... I think I need to look for a new purse. 
Oh, well, and I've got the right person with me. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got a brand new purse for 17 bucks at thrift store. Yeah, it's beautiful. So, and uh, yeah, and then later tonight, Kevin and I are going to cook together. And we're trying a new recipe. Mm. It's some pasta and sausage recipe. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Interesting. Yeah. So it called for dry red wine, but we're not putting that in because we don't do that. So Kevin's like, I'm not buying red wine for one little recipe. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't blame you. Don't blame you. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So because I mean, I, I think when you cook with alcohol, it burns off. It does. It? Yeah. But it's basically for flavor. Yeah. But we're forget it. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll catch up in a bit and see what we're up to. All right. I'm not sure who we just picked up. Yeah, we got the right animal. <laughs> oh, Brody. They show how handsome you look. And they gave you an awesome scarf. That is so cool. Yeah. I love it when they do this. Stuff. Yeah. See, see, guys, I had to get my summer. Oh, he's looking at the workers. He's looking at the workers. Mm -hmm. Had to get your summer cut, didn't you, bud? Mommy understands being too hot. Mommy had to buy a t-shirt because I was too hot today. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Dorothy and I went to Dollar Tree and Pennington's. Ladies, That's a good deal. We did. And uh, we're just gonna take Brody home. I'm gonna go for lunch. And I gotta go to another Pennington's because they didn't have the one item that I absolutely needed at the one we were at. And uh, hopefully we'll get back to our place in time that we can show you everything we bought. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be fun. All right, see you in a bit. Oh, we're back from our excursion. We're too very hot. It is. And now tired. The uh, temperature in the car was 30 degrees. That's close to 90, I think. I... Fahrenheit. Let me see. 30 is hot. Alexa, 30 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. 30 degrees Celsius is 86 degrees Fahrenheit. 86 degrees. Yeah. And that's before humidity oh yeah and it's humid <sighs> there's no breeze so all right first thing we're gonna do we're gonna show you everything we bought first thing we're gonna do we went to a place called Jolly Bees for lunch it is a Filipino fast food restaurant it's big in the Philippines um, kind of like popular like McDonald's you know mm -hmm. um, but we have a few in Canada now and they have two different pies. One is peach mango, and the other one is pineapple coconut. So we got one of each, and we're gonna taste test them and see. They're just irregular fried pies. Thank you. You know, I'm thinking I probably don't need the fork. i probably thinking the same thing. Now, a long time ago, I have tried the peach one. But it was a long time ago. So I, I don't remember. Peach mango. But this one's new. Coconut, Coconut. pineapple. So I'm going to lick the knife. Mm, peach mango's good. Okay. Let's try. Mm. Coconut pineapple. Oh, yum. Yeah? Mmm, that is good. It is really good. They're expensive, though. Three fifty. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. That's because the fruits they're made with are not common to this land. Very good. Mmm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
very tasty. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's big chunks of coconut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like big chunks of coconut. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Right. This one's peach mango. All right. Mm. Perfect combination. Mmm. Perfect, perfect. I haven't got that for you. And they're just warm. Mm-hmm. Still. We definitely didn't want them hot. Mm-mm. They were so hot, they tasted like they were, f or felt like they were fresh, fresh when we first got them. Mm-hmm. Yum. Mm. Okay, Still with it. now I gotta try this. Mm -hmm. See the mango in there? Look at that. Mm. Mm. Mmm. Oh, that is nice. Sure beats the humdrum of the apple pie at McDonald's. <laughs> mm hmm. Mmm. <laughs> yep. They're refreshing fruit. Yeah, exactly. Mmm. -hmm. Yep. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, we are gonna do our haul now. Yeah, we didn't eat. Oh, that one's got yikis on it, I guess. From your sticky chicken fingers. Mm. <laughs> she was cutting up chicken for Brode. They were. Let me show. Oh, no. Let me show you. Look at that handsome little dude. Yeah, he's so handsome, aren't you? Do you feel better? Not so hot. Yeah. There was some big doggies in there, wasn't there? Did they scare you? Because mm -hmm. they were big. Holy cow. They're, that gorgeous Doberman. Oh. oh, and there was like a golden retriever and then this other big, huge, like they were huge dogs in there today. <laughs> you must have felt so tiny. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back with our haul. All right. Dorothy's going to show you all her finds first. Okay. So I needed some summer socks. So these are 72% cotton, 25% polyester. And they're oh. very comfy because they're nice and big on the, the ankle. Ah, uh, right. They're Which so pretty. I, yeah. I had fun choosing. And I got this nighty. It's a full length nighty. And look at how pretty it is. That is, oh, here's your, let me see. I'll do your prices. Okay. Um, sleep, sleepwear. You got it for $14.99. Yeah, they're regular a lot more than that. Yeah. Um, fashion knit top. I don't know which one. One came out at $29.99 and one came out at $17.99. This is probably the $29. And it's it'll perfectly pretty. match the other piece that I've got in the other bag. Yeah. And the shirt. Pretty. And they were both on sale. Mm -hmm. And then I got myself. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That's a separate order. This is a separate order. Yeah. Well, we're working with one order. Oh, one at a time? Yeah. Okay, so the two tops. Yeah, I got those. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> this is 
a gorgeous winter coat. Regular, $259.95. And wait, people, sit down before she tells you what she paid for it. The only reason I got it was because I got it for $10. $10. $10. Yep. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, so that's at that store you spent $98.38. Yep. Okay. Then we, so that was the second Pennington's we had gotten to. First Pennington's you got. Let me, let me see this. I got two pairs of culottes and see, look at this. That's oh, why nice. I had to, to buy that shirt. Okay, so let me see. But you know what? That pink shirt is gonna look great with that one. Oh, absolutely. Okay, let me see here. Um, your brassiers. I got two new bras, yay! They were 37.46 each. Yeah, which is sadly a good price. Yeah, and then your tights were one was 25.06 and one was 27.36 yeah there's like a five dollar difference in yeah the... yeah so you spent 142.90 there yep Ben's gonna have a heart attack and you're gonna spend another hundred bucks on friday night <laughs> yep oh boy all right your value village finds oh my goodness yes and the, this, pur the purse lady did not let you down. She did not. She found me this gorgeous purse. But we stuffed it full of th things that I'd found. And I can't believe what all we got here. Mm -hmm. Here it is. <laughs> oh, I stuffed it. You stuffed it, man. You stuffed it. It was stuffed. So this is the purse. It's really nice. It's got a pat, you know, stuff in there. Thirteen seventy nine ah, for this beautiful purse. No wear, no tear, no damage, no nothing. Yep. It was worth thirteen seventy nine. Oh, absolutely. And then my husband's gonna. The prices are on the tags. Yeah. Your total was forty eight sixty nine. Oh, and you redeemed four dollars of of flex points. Yeah. So I got some shirts for our grandsons. They just turned 10. The prices are on the tags. And that's $5.99. And this one is $4.79. And look at it, isn't it nice? It's cute. I think they'll get a kick out of all the alligators. Yep. And this one is $2.99. And I didn't think there was anything bad on it. I mean, I might have missed something, but it looked pretty decent to me. Yeah. It's like, looks pretty decent to me. Yeah. And this is a shirt. That one's a shirt. Life is good. Life is good. Go places. Oh, that's cool. And it looks like it's brand new. And it was $5.99. So. I don't understand their prices. They don't make sense. Nope. And then you got four, uh, three pair of shorts. Yes, I did. Our little boy this morning who loves to wear shorts, I can't find anything to wear. So I picked up some shorts. These ones were $5.49. These ones were $4.49. And these pair were $5.99. Mm -hmm. And they all look like they're in a very good state of being. Yep. There you go. Yeah. So that's what you got. Mm-hmm. All right. Now we gotta turn you this way a little bit and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so. I didn't do my Dollarama. I brought it in. Oh, did you? We didn't go to Dollarama. We didn't? <laughs> we didn't go to Dollarama, we went to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, yeah. Where's my Dollar Tree crap? I don't know. Behind you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just turn you back over here again. <laughs> Can you tell the heat's gotten to us? Oh my goodness. <sighs> yes, it has. And I bought this bag for a dollar. 
Yep. Dollar fifty. Whatever. Yeah. And I just think these are so cute. And I am going to plant them in my garden mm -hmm. that I don't have yet. But I think they'll look they'll look sweet out front. Mm -hmm. And if somebody catches them, somebody catches them. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and I got this cute little puzzle. Oh, that is cute. I didn't see anything you bought. And I bought this wild pen. It's got eight colors. I used to have one of those when I was a kid. <laughs> and I got some more two-sided yep. tape. Mm -hmm. And I got a little girl frisbee and a little boy frisbee. Mm -hmm. And oh yeah, more tape. And these pretty, pretty, pretty little uh stamps. Yes. I found those and I knew she would love them. I so did. I handle them to her. This was true. And you've got just a note, happy birthday, thank you. Like Yeah. And this is coloring cats and dogs. No. I thought, oh that's gorgeous. And then I had to get colored pencils. And do you know here in, this is why I knew I was forgetting something because uh, I was about to go look for them. <laughs> you know, in here in Canada, yes, it says colored pencils on there, but here in Canada we call them pencil crayons. In the states they call them colored pencils. Did That's you know true. that? I yeah. did not know that. Yeah, they do. Huh. Yeah. And if you look at it, it's spelt in the, the American English mm. without the U. You yes. See, in Canada. Color has L O U R. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's true. Mm. So, yep. So, some of this I'm going to donate to the uh, my niece's uh, mm. thing. Mm -hmm. So, I thought it'd be fun to make a uh, little basket of some sort. A little, yeah, a little basket that has stuff for kids. Mm hmm. Because maybe nobody else has thought of that. Yeah, who knows? <sighs> yep. And I brought those up because one of them I'm going to wear. <laughs> she read my mind. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. I like these. Okay, your turn. My turn. So, Pennington's. The first store I went, we went to. I wasn't going to buy anything. Except that I chose the wrong t-shirt to wear today and it was way too hot. So I bought this shirt and this shirt and my, oh, my things in my purse. Um, they were, so they were $29.95, but then it they was buy one, get one half off. Yeah. So, so like it, 20, 22 each something. 22 something. Yeah. yeah. Which is decent. Yeah. 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 Um, I, okay, so I didn't buy this today. Dorothy gave this to me. It's a skort from Pennington's. And it's got pockets. On the back and the front. Yep. And the reason that she gave it to me is because I'm vertically challenged and she's not. <laughs> so it was a little short wasted for her. I think it's going to be just right for you. Yeah. You got to try that on real soon. Oh, I will. Okay. Then the second Pennington's that we went to, um, I needed a tummy, a, a tummy tucker thingy for my dresses for the girl's wedding. So I got that. It was $39.95. Well, that's not bad. Yeah. So, but the best deal of the day, I've got other stuff, but the best deal of the day was my $230 coat for 10 bucks. Yes, they had several. So I was pretty excited. And now Dorothy can stop complaining that I don't have a proper winter coat. In our climate, yes. It's very <laughs> important. Because I always layer. I don't necessarily wear it, but for 10 bucks, I bought myself a coat. Yeah, I think these ones are like good till like minus 40. Yeah. All right. Like I know I can't wear it until it starts to get cold. Yeah. So I'll give you that. Yeah. All right. And what's funny is that I think this one 
is exactly like the one I have at home. I can't remember. Yeah. yeah, but I decided I'd go with the red one. So Dollar Tree, everything was dollar fifty. So I got four of these. Oh, those will be fun. They had them in three different wood colors, but I figure mm. I can paint them if I needed them a different color. Mm -hmm. So I didn't need to buy them all. And I got some vinyl paper cool. in the sparkly pink. And I found, so this Dollar Tree, Dorothy had never been to it. How do you? Not that one. I've been to it lots of times. Um, it's okay, buddy. They often will have like little spots where they'll have oh, it's okay, buddy. like Christmas stuff stashed or whatever. It's okay. So sometimes when you're just looking for okay. something different. Um, so I got two rolls of the red and white mesh. That's all they had, but that's okay. Um, my total, oh, here's my, my total was $40 and 26 cents. We love this dip mix. So I got one of those. Oh, I got a drink because I was dying. <laughs> um, a two pack of mini rings. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then three foldable fans. Oh, wow. Now, cool. of course, I bought them to accent a wreath or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, those. Very cool. This is something I found, and I hadn't seen these anywhere yet. So, they're animal shapes. And... <laughs> Chicken! <laughs> All right. I got two of the full-size wreaths. And I got two of my favorite licorice. And I got two of the green mesh. Mm. Well, it's it's lacy. It's not like yeah, the, it's not like really the mesh cool. mesh. It's that's what I made the flowers with on my my um, cross wreath. Mm -hmm. Two more boxes of the tumbling towers for crafting. Here's my other package of those. I did find one rub on transfer for summer. Oh, that's so, cute. That'll be cute. And then. <laughs> Can you tell what we got? <laughs> Your little jumping jack over here. <laughs> oh, one more thing. And I got. Some red felt maple leaves for projects. Ooh. Okay. I'll see you when Kevin gets home and we'll show you what we're making for supper. Tell us what you're making. Um, I don't know, some sausage dish, penne sausage dish. So the, only, the only thing we're not using is the dry red wine because we don't buy that stuff, so. Right? It's because you drank it all. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and like we've said here in Canada, it's hard to buy ground sausage nicely seasoned and stuff. So, well, it just happened that you found this recipe and we just bought, bought these sausages. But it is hard to find ground sausage. Yes. Like in Canada. We can get, we can get. We can get it, but not necessarily flavored. Yeah. So we just take the skin off. Yeah. So. It comes out fairly easy. Mm hmm I mean, we probably could have chopped them up, but I like it ground up. So. Anyway, he's got garlic and sausage in there. And then... I don't know, crushed tomatoes and... Crushed tomatoes, tomato paste. Broccoli, spinach, penne. Yeah, we'll bring you back and show you the final clutch. Here's the recipe we found. Whole wheat penne with sausage and spinach. So it's sausage, olive oil, garlic, 
crush, uh, crushed tomatoes, tomato paste, penne, broccoli, and spinach. Yeah. Mmm, it smells so good. It smells really good. Very simple recipe. Mm -hmm. We used uh, mild Italian sausage. We get we use the already chopped uh, garlic. They say six cloves, so I just use six tablespoons. Mm -hmm. um, a can of tomato paste, tan, mm -hmm. tan, can of crushed tomatoes, broccoli, and spinach. spinach. And we use whole wheat pasta. Mmm. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Just the flavor from the sausage. Mm-hmm. The crushed crush tomatoes with the tomato paste actually have a good flavor. Mm-hmm. We don't very, very often use the crushed tomatoes. We usually use diced. Yeah, they just call it for crushed. Yeah. Because it makes the sauce, right? Um, mm. You should tell everybody uh, what I decided to do at like midnight Monday morning. 2 a.m., thank you very much. Well, it woke me up at midnight. And I just decided once I couldn't get back to sleep and it hurt too much. You I figured at 2 o'clock in the morning I had nothing better to do. So I passed a kidney stone. No, you didn't. You didn't pass it until the next day. Well, true. It was starting to pass. And I'll tell you, folks. I know people have had them and they say how much it hurts. And you always go, oh, it can't hurt that much. I think I can get sooner if somebody kicked me you know where. <laughs> yeah. It hurts. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So Kelly. Well <laughs> after we both um scared the crap out of each other. <laughs> <laughs> I was in such a deep sleep and he just come up and was like I'm like because I didn't want to like startle her so I was just like Kelly Kelly and she does this ah! and I go ah! <laughs> <laughs> and it hurt when she did that too when I jumped oh my gosh anyway so she took me up to the hospital <sighs> so I got there about it was about 2.30 and they gave me some pain meds. They, uh, they give the, the quickie pain med <laughs> the suppository, <laughs> which they don't do. You got to go in the bathroom and do it yourself. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they give it to you and they go, oh, you can go to the bathroom. It's oh. not hard. Um, so I did that. And then that really didn't take the edge off. And they gave me some Tylenol 3. And then they ended up giving me five milligrams of morphine. Oh, wow. That worked. <laughs> oh, um, so they got me in f for a CT scan. Uh, probably about 7, 7.30. Then, of course, I had to wait for the doctor to look at it. I got out of there at 10.30. Around 10.30. I don't know. Something like that. So, And it was a very, very tiny kidney stone. And you would never believe anything as small as this would hurt as much as it does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It hurt. Yep. But it finally came out yesterday. And I went and saw my doctor today. Mm -hmm. I got some pretty good news. I got my, my, A, my A1C is down. 
to 6.9. Mm -hmm. I was very happy with that. This is really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I get tired of the same old pasta. Yeah. I really like spinach and pasta. Mm. Yeah. So now he just has to hear when he gets his hearing aids. Yes. So he goes to the doctor this morning, talks about everything. I phone him and I said, so what they say about your hearing aids? Oh crap, I forgot to talk about that. No, I said, what? <laughs> I did, we got totally focused on that, like why I was there and then the whole Oh, so we got the report that you went, you had a kidney stone. And as a matter of fact, the, the doctor I seen up there is a colleague of my doctor. Mm. Like he knows him. Yeah, so completely sidetracked. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I had to put up with him being home for two days. That's okay, because I was too tired to care. We had to put up with who? Oh, can you play a game with me? Aww. Because <laughs> I was trying to stay awake so I could have a decent night's sleep. I wasn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to concentrate. Well, Monday, for sure. And I didn't bug you Monday. I bugged you Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> I had a little bit of a sleep on Monday, but I didn't want to sleep too long because then I went to bed sleep last night. And I got overtired, so I couldn't sleep mm -hmm. on Monday night. So. Oh, and there's broccoli in this, too. I think we said that. Why well, I, I did, because I already said the whole, men, uh, whole recipe. Okay. Mm-hmm. But so. it is yummy. Ooh. Yippers. Speaking of this, I gotta take my pills. All right. We're gonna let you go. Battery's almost dying anyway. So... It was a fun day with with Dorothy. Yeah. We got another special evening coming on Friday. Can't wait. Because yeah. Friday, we, we'll be right back. It was Oakland. Yes. What was, what were we saying? Oh, yeah, Friday. Yeah. Friday, June 2nd, we will be married for 33 years. So we're going out for our annual prime rib dinner. Mm -hmm. And Len and Dorothy are coming with us because their wedding anniversary is on the 11th of June. So we're going to celebrate together. And they've been married... 20... 29 or... I was going to say 28 or 29 because yeah. we did their 25th there. Yeah. So, something like that. It's one of them. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to say 29 because 2019, I think, is when they did the... I can't year. remember, but yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Anyway. Thanks for joining us. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Yesterday. There was sun and there was rain